Okay, it's a new morning, it's Thursday, and I actually have somewhere to be. It's like a little of 7.30, and I gotta meet a friend from middle school who's really into fitness and working out, and he's gonna, well, uh, sort of be my personal trainer for a day because he makes videos about that kind of thing so I was like hey why not maybe it'll be an interesting experience and an interesting video so we'll see how that whole thing goes a few nerves as usual before social interactions but usually when they're over I feel good so let's hope it doesn't drive me into the ground too hard mm. All right, so I just finished filming with my good friends. Ba, 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 ba. What is going on, guys? Hey! So I went to the gym for the first time. Uh, <laughs> that was actually a positive experience. I was not expecting it to go as well as it did, but we had fun. Uh, yeah, he made sure I did exercises the right way, and if I started to hurt, I would just do something lighter. It was so, a good experience, man. It, it was. was. It was we man. did a video together that actually he edited. That will be up on this channel later on. If it is already, you can find a link to it down below if you're curious to check it out. That would be awesome. So, with some, uh, with some of that workout out of the way, I think I'm ready to go catch some Pokemon now. I can take on even the strongest. That's gonna be awesome. So let's go do that. Whew, okay. Sat down, went and bought some drinks, some food to recuperate. But honestly, that was a lot of fun actually like it was it was really fun just seeing like an old friend again and like talk and like catch up on the times and like when I knew him back in middle school he was essentially the class clown he was just tiny little kid and now it's like he spent the last few years working out focusing on health and fitness and well now he's like hey it's just interesting to see what you can achieve if you just put a few years of work into something. <laughs> and I'm of course glad that he wanted to to had to have me there. Like he wants, you know, to collaborate with some bigger channels to get his name out there. And in return, I got to do something new and show you something new cuz I'm sure a lot of you are in the same position as me health-wise where you don't really do this lighting is not that good. Where you don't really do a lot of workouts. That was my first time at a gym and I really enjoyed it, so yeah, thanks. Thanks to him. It's fun to do some social stuff every once in a while. And now it's time to go Pokemon Go hunting. Actually in a few hours, so I'll probably head home before that, but uh, so much social stuff. It's so tiring, it's so satisfying. I like it. And so the great adventure comes to an end. I didn't really film anything during it because, I don't know, I just I had a good time and it almost didn't even cross my mind and, you know, pulling out my cam and just pointing it at my face, I don't know. I was already using my phone for Pokemon, so I met up with two people from the Team Valor Norway group, a girl of 29 years and a guy at 20, same age as me, and we just went down this, uh, this big river and just like caught everything along the way, crushing some Team Mystic gyms when we came across them and finding rare Pokemons and just, just a blast overall. It's so, I've got more social interaction and just physical activity done in the last four days it's been out than I had in a long time before that. But especially the social stuff for me is really good because it's like having a social arena. It's like having something that you can instantly bond over. You know, striking up conversation with a stranger can be really tough. But when you start it with like, hey, you know, what level are you? What team are you? You know, have you seen the gym over there? Hey, I caught a Pikachu over there. When you can start with stuff like that, conversation just goes naturally. And it's so, it's so lovely. So I'm really happy about the whole situation. But now I gotta go home, get some food, get some drink. That's, that's been what's been going on today.
I don't know if anything else interesting is gonna happen, but we'll have to see. It's gonna blow a little now, so let's go in case the audio gets bad. All right. <laughs> I'm talking to somebody on Skype and they're being annoying. Well, anyways, that's another day done. Nothing really eventful happened. I've been back, I've been editing. That's always thrilling work. That's really worthy of vlogging. And tomorrow I'm probably gonna go out and see what else I can do. And since today's been so uneventful in terms of vlog footage, in terms of things I've done, I've done a lot more than I would usually do. But. <laughs> Stop looking at me. I hate you. Stupid Skype person. Okay. But I think I'm gonna combine two. I'm gonna place the camera over their face. I think I'm gonna place two days into one just so we have enough content. So let's go on a big Pokemon Go adventure tomorrow. See if we can maybe meet up with somebody and maybe potentially if I get close to somebody, we can also include somebody in the vlog or at least I can vlog around them as we go. You know, just we'll see how it goes. So yeah. That's gonna be Thursday done. It's been a fun day with lots of different things. And let's let's go to the next day. Wow! Well, it's Friday and we're gonna go Pokemon hunting. So let's go. Okay, well I just got done having some crazy Pokemon adventures. It's funny just how populated this place is with trainers, like everywhere you go, like you look at the map, the Pokemon map in the app, and you just see all of these gyms located around the park. Most of them taken by Team Mystic, or as I like to call them, Team Mainstream. Because almost everybody picks Mystic as the kids are like, Oh, they're the biggest, I'm gonna join them too, hee <laughs> hee. So. I've met up with a few Valor people and we've just gone around trying to crush them. I've also been hanging out with one of the top 10 players in Norway actually, he's a team mystic so he was sort of crushing gyms and stuff but I try to take them back and like sneak them back and I don't know, I had a lot of fun like you just, you approach a gym, you see people sitting nearby, you can just approach them and be like hey, what team? And in Norway f the ability to approach a stranger like that, unheard of and everybody's like you know, oh team red, team blue and the people are a bit silly, are like Team Yellow. And it's so, it's so cool. So you just like, you just sit down and you're like, all right, let's get this gym together. What Pokemon do you have? It's just an instant way to communicate with somebody and it's a lot of fun. So I spent the day outside in the sun socializing. That's all well and good, but I actually put a video to render before I went out. That's the perfect time. It's like, oh, this video is gonna take three hours surrender. Well, might as well spend three hours outside. It's perfect. So now I'm gonna go back and see if the video's done. Yeah. All right, so I'm sitting here editing today's vlog, reading some comments, and one of the comments that I got, or actually several comments pointing it out on Wednesday's videos regarding my beard, because now that it is getting bushier, you can see that there's some color here, isn't it? It's a little bit of like orange reddish ginger color. Why is that? Has Dark really been a ginger all along but dyed his hair blonde? No, it's just a fact that I guess some blonde people get sort of reddish tints to their beard. I honestly don't actually mind. I don't know, it gives it some it gives it some flair, some power. Yeah. I don't mind at all. So it is getting a little a little bushy though, so... <sighs> I'm sorry I have to do this, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm kidding, of course. I just did a quick little trim that... You probably can't even notice the effects of. It was just a little, a little thingamajiggy. Because if you let this grow too much in front of your lips, you keep getting food in your beard, and that's always fun. No, it's it's not. But yeah, I'm letting it grow thicker and longer than usual, and I don't know. I'm quite happy with it. I want to see where it goes. What adventures my facial hair will go on. 
I'm actually sitting here editing the vlog and I, I realized that there's so much jumping around in the vlog itself. It's like we're here. Oh, that's another thing. I keep saying like. I know every time I'm like That wasn't even on purpose. I keep using the word like because you know, I'm like this and then that but then I'm like Ah, I'm not a 14 year old girl. I shouldn't be using it that much, but at least you don't ever hear me um, uh, uh, Do that I very rarely ever say um or uh whenever I think of something because what I do When I try to think of a word to say Is that I'm just quiet. I don't feel the need to add the um, I Don't know why well, it's good. So like in videos and stuff whenever I like have to stop and think it's always like And then it hits me and That's just I keep abusing like but at least the ums are not happening I remember in school actually if somebody had like a presentation in class I would always sit there counting the ums if I was really bored It was exciting stuff and I would make bets with my friends which one of these two would have the most ums Of course, I, I never pointed out to them because I'm not I'm not rude, but it was just a, a fun little game. Ah, I feel like there's a lot to this vlogging. I need to change the vlogging style a little, or I need to make it more... I need more of the day, I can't just have, and then I did this, and then this awesome fun thing happened off screen. I need to try to figure it out. Maybe try to maybe record my phone screen, maybe that'll make it better. Something like that when I'm out in a bottle of Pokemon Go and... I'm going to try to figure out a way to make it more engaging. What if we did something like this, where I record myself, I record the screen with an app that also records my camera at the same time? Because this should allow me to actually walk around and get footage of what's happening on the screen. I probably can't log in. You see the game just came out in Norway today, today Saturday. And, well, the servers are going to be BORKED really hard, unfortunately, but I'm going to try this out in the future so you can actually, like, see me go, see me go and do this live. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be something we try then, but not now, because in a few seconds I'm going to be told that I cannot actually experience my dreams. <laughs> but yeah, this might work. Might be worth a couple of bucks I spent on the app. Well, I think that's going to conclude this vlog that spanned a few days where, you know, not a lot happened, but it was something. Hopefully the new Pokemon Go setup is going to be working out, and I'll do more vlogs next week probably, because some things are going to be happening. I'm super stiff in my arms after the workouts. It's been two days since, and ah, I'm feeling it. I feel like a T-Rex at times. I can't properly stretch my arms out all the way. It is like a little T-Rex, like Rawr. But but it should it should fade soon enough, so Ah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Have a still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly everybody, stay dark. Goodbye. Ow.